Good morning. Wow, so we're heading to the airport so I can go pick up the van, drive it back here, and you can see there's nobody out here right now. Because it's 3.50. <laughs> the van's been in the container for a month, so it's gonna be really good to see that thing. We left the van key. We're going back right now so I can get the van key. Things aren't going well. Oh, sucks. So we gotta run back home. Gotta find the van key. I'm not sure where it is. We're rolling up to the house. Just gonna have to go, huh? I don't know. Maybe it was in my bag or something. We better go. Just guess. Danny's gonna pick up the van. Her uncle invited us to the Eagles game on Thursday. Yeah. So I really want to make it to the Eagles game. What if I just flew in and went right to the Eagles game? That's it. That's would be 100%. <laughs> because the airport is right next to the stadium, so like you'd be able to make it for sure. You know what time the game is at? Eight. Every time we've shipped the van, we've been there at the loading and the unloading. But now this time, we can't be there at the unloading, which is kind of worrisome. I gotta sit it on the sidelines, nearby, pick it up right after, and start booking it north. We're going to the celebrity mechanic, Pro Masters only. <laughs> he only works on Pro Masters. And you can see it's a 19 hour drive from Houston. Teaches you everything about the ProMaster van because he's gonna have like two weeks with the van now. It's gonna be so funny to meet the guy. If you watch his videos, he's a character. We have a CV half shaft. That's a half of an axle of a vehicle here at her mom's that we almost had delivered to Peru. But I think it might be the issue we're having now. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, when I was just sitting here and we didn't know when I was gonna fly. I know, yeah, it was a big, it was hard. Yeah, but the thing tough. is that that's the only way we could do it. So basically buying the plane ticket within 24 hours of the flight was the best way to do it, but very stressful. I mean, if I just drive 19 hours straight. I don't think you should do it straight. That's insane. I think you should sleep. You know, you can drive until 10, 11 p.m., mm -hmm. sleep until 8 a.m. and still and still make it with enough time to spare. I know you love the idea of being a crazy guy, but. Wish me luck. We are back driving. We didn't find the van key in the house, so yeah, we're just like kind of hoping that it's in the backpack that Danny already packed. And maybe it's just our 3 a.m. drowsiness that's not really remembering where it is. And then also our container buddies, we did give them the second van key. So either way, there is a key in Houston right now. <laughs> and even if Danny can't find it in his backpack, it's gonna be in Houston, and it's more important that he makes the flight. Not everything can go perfectly, it's all right. So hopefully the van key is somewhere in the backpack that Danny already packed. It's all right, we're gonna figure this out. Danny's gonna make it into the airport with um, six minutes to spare for, to check a bag, and then he'll have 15 minutes before boarding. Luckily I already had breakfast. Ooh, got the bag checked. <laughs> CVF shaft, no van key, oh boy. Flight went well. Hello from Houston. So unfortunately, because I didn't have the van key handy, we got to wait for the container buddy to get here. So that should be like another hour. I'm already here. Decided to grab some breakfast tacos, barbecue breakfast tacos. Got brisket breakfast taco. Oh, Texas is great for its brisket. Can't get brisket anything like it around the world honestly uh, texas is just on another level with the barbecue here i guess i'll just hop an uber over to the warehouse you can check it out wait there for the container buddy pretty excited to see the van again pretty nervous <laughs> wow so apparently the owner has recently passed away that is causing a big issue with getting us the invoice because the daughter would be the one doing that and she's probably grieving they might be able to unload it today, but the invoice is now an issue. Not going well.
I come to you slightly defeated today. We did have to sleep in a Motel 6, but apparently they accept dogs and the container buddies have two dogs. We were able to get a pretty cheap spot here. I think it was 32 for me, 32 for them, dollars. The local currency. <laughs> we got some good barbecue last night, you know, went in Texas. And this brisket had a great smoke line on it. You know, they slow smoke that stuff for hours and it was super tender. I got the, the brisket and the ribs, which, you know, combined with those breakfast tacos I had yesterday, brisket breakfast tacos. I think I'm barbecued out at this point, but it was a good run. We got some good news from the warehouse this morning, at least. As early as I could, I gave a call to that uh, warehouse. They are just about getting ready to unload the vans. So that's some super good news. We're gonna head on over there and wait on premises. The other thing is the invoice, but apparently the only person who writes invoices is the daughter of the deceased. So that is a sticky point that has been unresolved still. But one person said they kind of want to open the container first and check if you know it's a normal unloading before they uh, before they generate that invoice. So yeah, fingers crossed that today goes well and I'll be driving across the country tonight. I slept amazing last night. We put on the Barbie movie and I fell asleep before it was even over. Pretty good movie though. Yeah, it's gonna be a crazy day. Oh my gosh, I have no clue what's gonna happen. So let's see. You think we'll get the vans today? Oh yeah. Don't even talk about it. <laughs> I don't know how we couldn't. Yeah. Come on. Probably a couple vans the right back there. There's our van. Oh, there's oh, a van! There Hallelujah! <laughs> the van! Plus, look at that thing. It looks good. So now the vans are out of the box. We just got to go pay the invoice. We got coffee. <laughs> the hard part is done. Wow, fingers crossed. I think we got this, but <laughs> yeah, let's do it. there's definitely been a couple of sticking points on this invoice. So, And we want to see if we get a good price, of course. So here we go. Yeah, the vans are out. Now we just got to pay. But she he said she's working on it right now. It should just take like 10 more minutes. Oh, okay. So I still got 19 hours to drive and we can't pay. We did get permission that Blake can start raising his van again. To get it to fit in the container, he had to remove uh, like the leaf springs or, you know, I'm not really a mechanic. He is, he knows what he's talking about. He's got to undo some bolts. He's got to put in some springs. They're going to let him do it right here at the warehouse. So at least we're waiting to pay. But before it gets too hot out, he can, he can get that done. Got the equipment, he's going in. And I'm helping. Look at that ride, it's definitely lower in the back. So that's what he's gonna be working on. I can actually air up these tires. If you notice how freaking low these guys are, but I got a compressor in the back, so I'll probably bust that out. So the moment of truth, let's go in this guy and see how everything looks. Oh yeah, I forgot the surfboard was right here. Oh look, they have me a mouse pad. Horizon Auto Shipping mouse pad with the nice ergonomic wrist rest. We got three. <laughs> That's funny. God, it smells so clean in here. I think Emily armor-alled everything before we left. That's it, that's my van. Wow, the lights shouldn't work. But I might as well pop this, get some air in here. First step to revitalizing the home. Solar panels still good and safe here. I'll just leave them there for the drive since we're on such a tight timeline. But yeah, let's pop open these guys. It is hot. One of the first big steps will be, let's check these batteries, how they're doing. Oh, lights turned right on. Oh my God, we left them on. 12.6 volts. That's not bad at all, you guys. I can't believe it. Batter the lights turned right on, batteries aren't dead. And to convert 12.6 volts to a percentage of charge, maybe it'll do that. There we go. 75%? Are you serious? That's perfect. I'm beyond stoked. I mean, yeah, I mean, it looks like everything's in here, even though they unloaded it. God, I can't even say how stoked I am. Like I just feel like so like normal lately, like living in a house and everything. So just to see it, like I should have appreciated what we had when we were out here. I'm so happy to see this thing. So here in the trunk. Oh, I missed this guitar. Everything is here. Oh, man, I've got the license plate collection, sticker collection, and the compressor. 
is right there. You like that car? I don't know what it is, but it looks cool. I think it said Jaguar. Yeah. Oh, they're boxing it up. So how are things looking over here? Uh, just getting everything snagged up, but you know everything survived, so that's all I can ask for. <laughs> Look at this sweet wood cabin. <laughs> Log cabin style. Dude, well done on building this. <laughs> Dude, and my batteries were at 75%. Awesome. So this compressor, if you guys need one, we got this off Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. You know, it plugs into your DC. That cable is long enough that it can come out here. But then from here to the tire, there's a whole nother piece. So that's how you get the length to get to your wheels. So I'm gonna turn on the van, get this guy going. And then while it's pumping up, you can see here what you're trying to get to. And we put 65 and 75. So this is actually a pretty big moment right now. Turning on the van the first time here. I'm not sure they really want me to do this, but that way I can use the compressor. So, Woo no squeaks, no engine noises out of the ordinary at all. Uh, let's see on the dash service tire pressure system. Oh, look at that. It reset everything. I guess those guys just got their vehicle too. They asked if we could push it in there. So things are going really well, but we still haven't got this invoice. Pretty nerve wracking, but at least I can move my coffee into the van. Oh yeah, not just my coffee, but Alyssa reminded me last second about my uh, CV half shaft here. We brought across the country and my, my backpack. And how is this doing? Okay, one down. So while that other tire is airing up, while the second of four, I will give the guy a call. Let's see what Jose Luis says about this invoice. Come on, I want to pay and get out of here. Good morning, Horizon. That should be how to help you. Can you just hold for a moment? Yeah, thank you. I'm so thirsty and look at this. The prodigal water bottle. Traveled all the way from South America right in this spot. Untouched. Ah, oh, missed you, buddy. And actually, I did have to disconnect the battery, which they've already reconnected, but might as well check their work. So pick this up, slide this out of the way. It's pretty loose, honestly. That's better. Good thing I checked on that. Yeah, we, we see the vans, but we still haven't seen that invoice. Okay, maybe. That would be so great if you could check on that. And um, yeah, we're pretty much ready to go. I'm just airing up the tires. Okay, thank you so much, Jose Luis. Talk to you later. No problem, Daniel. Talk to you later. Bye. Wow, so still the sticky point is the invoice, but we got two tires aired up now. Skills, bro. It's something. You could work on vans all day. Uh, I prefer not to in Houston, but hey, you know, this is where we are. That connection nice and clean, huh? Correct. <laughs> Doing it with the dogs. You guys are awesome. It's epic. Yeah, Jose Luis said that we still don't have an invoice and he's gonna call Sarah again. Okay. <sighs> Just enough room to make it work here. Emily hates it when it beeps like that. If I leave it like that. <laughs> that happens when you leave the key in and open the door. Well, I think Emily would be pretty stoked to hear what's going on here. Let's give her a call. Hey. Hey, I'm in the van. <gasps> hey. Yeah, I'm pumping up the tires and we still don't have the invoice. Well, we'll just drive off now. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> pretty good news. So Blake's actually working on his truck already. I'm airing up the third out of the four tires right now. So if when that fourth tire is aired up, they give me an invoice, that would be perfect timing. I'm a little worried, you know, like, is it gonna be too much money? Is it gonna be unexpected? But um, yeah. 
but so far the people have been really cool about letting us kind of see the vans already, letting us work on. We I'm so glad we did this. Thank you so much, buddy, for getting the van. Oh, you're welcome. Man, if there would have been two of us, it would have been so much harder, huh? With the pets and getting a hotel and all that. Oh, yeah, it would have been, like, pretty pretty frustrating, I think. So I'm really glad you did that for us. I'm really appreciative. So right now it's only 10.30, so if I drove 20 hours straight, I could get there by 6 a.m. tomorrow. He says he's leaving tomorrow at 5 p.m. The Pro Masters only celebrity mechanic we got that's gonna look at the van. Really doubt I'm gonna make the Eagles game. Well, that's okay. I think you should just be safe and you know drive the you know drive correctly and you know take breaks and stuff. So don't worry about the Eagles game. Okay, babe. Well, I gotta check on the compressor. I love you. All right, I love you. See you soon. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Honestly, I really miss just having this chill space. No matter where you are, you're at the warehouse, you're at the mechanics, you're at Iguazu Falls. You can always go back to the van, cook up a little snack, hang out in here. So these engine codes are no big deal. Basically, we only got one right now, honestly. P0520, which reminds me of the 520 bridge in Seattle, right by University of Washington where I used to go. It's a floating bridge. Engine oil pressure sensor switch, circuit malfunction. But yeah, they have to open up the engine to change that sensor. Don't mind paying a bit, you know, just to have the van finally get to the doctor in America and have it leave 100. Man, of course this thing got stolen in Montevideo, Uruguay. Guess we can just get a new one and pop it right on there. Doesn't look damaged. So we got the registration up to date. We got the tabs on there. And I did get car insurance on the airplane yesterday. Just gotta get this damn invoice. And so pretty much everything's working. But one thing that doesn't is this sink because obviously there's no water in it. We haven't filled it. But the other thing is the drain goes into a jerry can that after five years, we decided to throw away in South America and leave it there. But yeah, I gotta remember not to use the sink because in the water, count down until that happens. I'm not too sure what to do. Like, you know, the squeaky wheel gets the grease, but I've been squeaking for days now. And with a death in their family, I'm not sure if I'm just annoying them. It's kind of rough, honestly. I'm gonna have to just make work to get to where we're going. Designed to give you peace of mind by insuring your item. Hi, Jose Luis, since their vehicles here and everything could i give you guys my payment info and and kind of start driving and we could deal with this later you've never done that before but i'm aware of that that would be sarah's you would need sarah's authorization if that was the case unfortunately if there's anything we could do to just get me out of here but i guess you tried to call her you tried to text her thank you for that okay thank you sorry jose thank you no, no problem bye bye <sighs> not looking good guys yeah i talked to us Luis. yeah i tried <laughs> She said she was in the city here shortly. Oh, that's that's pretty good news. I mean, kind of similar news though. Yeah, so hopefully fingers crossed this is shortly means just in a couple minutes here. Oh man, that would be amazing. Oh boom, I got it in the email. Price looks good. You think I can go pay inside? Yeah, yeah, go talk to the attorney. Woohoo! We got an invoice! Yeah, it's a thousand bucks! One! I'll go inside here and pay. Thank you so much! No problem, Daniel. It's over! Yeah. <laughs> Ugh, good and bad news. We got that invoice paid, but they couldn't find my key. That thing's like 500 bucks. They said it should be in the vehicle. She couldn't find it. That sucks. Oh my god, I was so stoked. We got the email. Well, I just gotta tell her, I guess. I gotta chill. And she said that probably we'd have to wait until 1 p.m. to leave anyhow. Oh, high quality H2O right there. I see a key anywhere in here. Here would be good. There would be good. There would be good. Oh, maybe he would put it in here. Did you find your key? I did that. No. So everything went pretty well though, huh? So far. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so they should be back with the other key in nine minutes. Gotta say bye to these guys. Dang, well, I guess they said the key will be back in like nine minutes. So. Oh, they have the keys, okay. Yeah, so I'm probably gonna move the van up to the gate and just wait there. Yeah, dude. It's been a pleasure, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a trip, right? Yeah, well done on, on all this stuff. <laughs> wow, bro. Hey, just ignore the sketchiness. Don't, don't mind. 
<laughs> yeah, and don't touch it. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. First time driving the van. <laughs> it shifts. Don't think I'm gonna make that Eagles game though. Oh, come on, guys. Back to Miles. We begin the endless drive. 19 hours to Ohio, buying a plane ticket, flying to Philly, as long as I can open this gate. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, he's got the key. <laughs> Oh, we're driving now. Let's just toss it here on the side. They gave me the key, but they gave me the container buddies too. Those guys are cool and we are out, my man. Let's go. Oh, look at this beast. Honestly, it feels like it's running like a dream. Oh boy, I got the key in my pocket. Okay, that's right, it's good I locked it. Please throw your tray tables and seats up. We're ready for departure. But seriously, okay, that's good. Aha, uh -huh. that's not good. Now it's good. Man, let's get to the gas station. I'm on the way, babe. You're coming to me. <laughs> yeah, so I only have 19 hours, 34 minutes left. I've got a few minutes done already. Good work, babe. <laughs> got full gas tank, though, and two Red Bulls. Okay, but you're going to take a nap, or you're going to go to sleep tonight. I slept a lot last night. I don't think I have to sleep tonight, but yeah, we'll see where I am, how things are going. Okay, but make sure to sleep. <laughs> okay, will do. All right, I'm getting on the freeway. I love you. Oh, thank you so much. Good job, babe. You're the best. You're amazing. See you Good soon. Break. Yay. All right, starting out with the traffic jam. Woohoo! Houston, we have a problem. Oh no, I was talking to Emily about the plane tickets and stuff. And look at this. What is that warning light there? Ah! Emily was able to check what that warning light is. And it looks like it's the transmission. So I'm gonna stop here. I haven't even driven half an hour. Oh, it's off. I guess I'll still check the transmission fluid and try to drive a little bit smoother. The transmission fluid is fine and actually the light shut off as i was stopping so i think it was just the van protesting my driving style okay it shut off again and i checked the engine codes there's no engine code yeah i was driving pretty fast i think we're past the traffic of the city at 2 p.m here and i'm just gonna have to drive a bit chiller than i was the light has not turned back on this kind of stuff is just bringing up the old memories of the van breaking down in Colombia or in Bolivia and just how crazy that can be. But this kind of stuff is why we're back in the US really. Gotta get this van looked at. It just reinforces in a way that we're doing the right thing. Cause this thing's purring along, but it definitely needs to be looked at. Texas is big. I had to tell the container buddies, can you please be there at the unloading? Because we couldn't find the key to the van. Originally I was planning like, oh, I'll just do the unloading and you guys can pick it up later. Because of that, they had to be there and they knew that Motel 6 apparently always allows animals. Although it did really make me miss the van and having our own bed as we traveled. I was like, ooh, am I itchy? Was there a bug bite? <laughs> because apparently all the other Motel 6s in Houston um, had really bad reviews and people said, that they did get bed bug bites. I don't think I got any bites though, neither did they. But anyway, this morning, I go to take a shower because I was thinking, well, you know, this bed or whatever, I better just take a shower this morning. As I'm getting out my clothing, guess what I find in my bag? The van key. Oh my God. I had looked hardcore in the bag on the way to the airport when we had to turn around. Um, you know, I was searching super hard in there. I didn't find it. But this backpack has like so many little zipper random places that like, oh my gosh, I can't wait. We had the big. The total cost of the shipping, not including, you 
know the gas or the next plane ticket I'll have to get um, to six thousand dollars. That's for two parties, you know. That means we pay three thousand each, which I believe is by far the best I've heard of anybody shipping these days. So pretty freaking stoked on that. So you can see here how proud Texas is of Texas. Here on the overpass here, you got a map of Texas, you got a Lone Star over there. But we are practically into Arkansas, but it's probably about 10 different states that I'll be crossing to get the van over to the mechanic here. Arkansas State Line. All right, here we go. I see uh, the Welcome to Arkansas sign up ahead here. The natural state, Welcome to Arkansas. You know, this has been a good chance for me to rekindle my love of the USA and driving through it. We had a good time in Arkansas when we were vanning around here. There's a cool spot you can go to try to dig up a diamond. Somebody dug up like super huge diamond there once. You know, for free, you can just go and do it. There's also like Hot Springs National Park. I'm finally on the interstate system. Should be some smooth sailing. And I switched to Waze, so it's saying 14 hours left. Pretty soon here, it should be night. And that'll either be a little more tricky or what, we'll see. You've arrived at your first stop. Wow, I better wash that windshield too. <laughs> okay, let's do it again. So I guess I've been driving nine hours now. We got 10 hours left, so we're right on pace. But this is the Mississippi. I see an enormous bridge. We got Memphis across the water. Check this site out. Mississippi! Made a lot of progress today. Might keep driving, but technically it's gonna be tomorrow. I just got onto this interstate 76. I'm gonna follow this for 700 miles until I get there basically. Pretty exciting just to know all I have to do is just zone out, listen to my audiobook, and I'll be there in 10 hours. Oh my god, that's a long time. Yeah, I don't know. The best flight is like leaving at 5 p.m. for like price and non-stop. And to get there by 5 p.m. tomorrow, I mean, get to the airport after dropping off the van, it's possible, it's very possible. I think I could sleep like five hours and make that happen, but I'm losing a time zone, so yeah, it's kind of tricky. The final countdown now, less than 10 hours, less than a thousand miles by far. I got some bad news. The container buddies said they got charged the same amount I did. I was pretty sure that was for both vehicles. But I got the itemized receipt, I checked it out. Container this, container that. It seems like it should be a one-time one charge for both parties. For us, it adds on $500. The total cost would be $3,500. I'm sure it's gonna be hell trying to figure out what happened, given how hard it was to get the invoice in the first place. I'm gonna try tomorrow. Pretty crazy, I can't believe it. But yeah, it looks like we got about 600 miles left. Empty again. Fill our rope. Taking gas like this in Uruguay, oh, that would be like $200. Here, I bet it's like 80. Let's see, let's see. You've arrived at your first stop. Oh my gosh, it feels so good to be out of the van for a moment. It's just gassing up. This is a mega drive. Bad. Yeah, the container buddies did tell me that when they left Argentina, it was a dollar fifteen a gallon. Driving across the country like this has kind of reminded me of I, I made this app one time where you could take like a time lapse but over longer time. It would send you like a notification, help you line up for the last shot. I did one one time crossing the country. It was pretty interesting because it started out on deserty. You see, you know, the St. Louis arch thing in the middle, and then coming up through the Appalachians going towards Philly, all this green mountains, and then it just ended at Wawa, which is like such a Philly thing. You know, it's like this convenience store that has free ATMs, free air, gas station, you can get food. It was like a hangout spot for years, I guess. That app was called Overlaps. It's 5.30 a.m., still driving. Not really tired. And we're in Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville, Kentucky is one of the sickest skate parks in the country. So yeah, Kentucky. Got into Kentucky at some point. Maybe we'll be leaving Kentucky soon. Holy 
have we driven far? Got a banana, got a coffee, got some gas. Whew, get me to the next state. We finally got another engine code up. Let's see what's going on here. Got the code reader, engine oil pressure sensor, two different codes. No big deal. It'll be 6 a.m. in one minute. Pretty soon here, I'll be able to get a Mickey D. Brecky Sammy, I'm fine. Man, I'm really hitting a wall here. I guess I've driven 16 hours. Got my Berkey Sammy finally. Yeah, I think I am gonna take a bit of a nap because if I get to Pro Masters only right now, it's gonna be super early. Even if I take the, the next flight, I'll have to wait a while, so. The only thing is that these solar panels right here are on the bed, so it's like, how do I really nap? The sun's coming up, and that just made me feel really tired. I think I'll just get a couple hours, try to make the five o'clock non-stop over to Philly. It's the cheapest flight there is. I think I'm doing pretty well. I was able to put the solar panel up there. Looks like enough room to lay down with slight threat of solar panels falling on me while I sleep. But yeah, I'm a little conflicted about that Horizon Auto shipping. I was feeling like they were my enemy, but then that invoice came out and the staff was super nice. Now that I find out they double charged us compared to what I thought we were paying, I don't know about the Horizon Auto shipping guys. <laughs> well, good night. Wow, that place got busy while I was asleep. Yeah, look how many people Dang. pop in here. According to my current ETA, I'll be there at 1 p.m., which is like 24 hours from when I left for like a 20 hour drive. So, pretty dang efficient. Get on our way. Wow, it's amazing how just one hour makes me feel so refreshed. But I'm pretty excited. Meet Kip today, drop off the beast, made it. He offered to take me to the airport, but that would have been yesterday or the day before. Apparently today he has some stuff after work he has to do. His worker, Paul, could probably take me. It seems like I'm gonna make it. This thing don't break down in the next three hours. Welcome to Ohio. Next day, Ohio will also be the last state of the drive. 100 more miles to Akron, Ohio. So we're closing in. Emily was able to book me the flight. I got the cheap flight. I think you can solve all the engine codes. That would be money. Quite a laundry list. Looks like my Eagles ticket has gone to Emily's friend because we weren't sure if I'd be able to make it. Even though it looks like now I can make the Eagles game. I'm kind of scrounging to see is there a ticket available somewhere? See, this has been just nuts. Only 13 minutes till we get there. Whoa! We're rolling in on empty. So one final fill up. I can't believe I made it. I mean, it's like a minute from here. So I'm gonna count it, gas up and get the van set up here. We're here, you know, it's one o'clock. So I basically drove 20 hours in one day it really wasn't even that bad compared to like trying to get the invoice at horizon and all that that was a stressful we did it there's a pile of pro masters outside his shop look at this oh he's got a whole fleet it's gotta be the place look at that Why, hi there. Hey. it's the guy it's the guy who's in the flesh oh my god <laughs> Sure, it's, it's period correct decoration, but it also has, I finally came up with a practical use for it. You should put the, the theme music of the Get Smart theme on under this. Hmm. <laughs> also, the company's safe. Oh. Is this child safe from 1963 that you put your baseball cards in? There's nothing in it. There might be 30 cents in here. Buy, sell. <laughs> I'd like to book a bus to Poughkeepsie. Smitty, I'm off the clock. That time. <laughs> We're in the middle of an engine swap. I just finished prepping that to go into this one. No way. Hey, Paul. <laughs> I'm Danny. <laughs> Got the van. I just pulled up in a van. What's the accent? Uh, Washington State. Seattle. Man. I should have said French. <laughs> Close to Canada. Yeah. So. I hear, I hear like Canadian Canuck or something. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. Maybe, you know. That's offensive. They prefer to be called snow frogs. Yeah. <laughs> but these engines with a couple of minor modifications go to half a million, no problem. It really is quite a quite a marvel of uh, of engineering. How how good this is compared to the engine of the past. Wow. How many improvements have happened in the stuff on this engine that simply doesn't break that you don't have to worry about. 
That wow, one in there cool. is uh, I've, is the first one I bought. I bought it new and it has 804,000 miles on it now. So Dang, that's the one. That's the one. Oh my gosh. The, so this will be where my van's gonna sleep for a indeed. little while here? Sure, amongst the splendor. Nice. Amongst its brethren. Amongst its brethren. This was an expediter at some point and uh, it had been wrecked and then they stripped the engine and transmission out of it. But I got it for 700 bucks and it has yielded way more than 700 bucks in parts. Yeah, I thought it was like that tall or something. Smuggle a family of circus clowns. <laughs> Easily. And you can see it doesn't have a speck of rust on it. Whereas wow. that white Chevy van from 2003 oh, is geez. completely rotted in the bottom. It, Dude, yeah, thanks I'm, for I'm helping me on the forums too. Like, I feel like it was before you even had this shop. Sounds like, yeah. I've and only been here for a year and a half or so as a wow. as this. Yeah, because I've had the van for, well, we've been five years going around. Mm -hmm. And I think, yeah, like, I don't know what the first thing was. I put on ProMaster for him and you were one of the, you know, most knowledgeable people on there. Head nerd. There's like one other guy in you, I think, that I'm are like, van whisperer. should I point at things or? All right, so this is the topology of your computer. So we're going to scan all these modules. So here are your active oh. codes. See, this is what happened when I started driving. I got this. Interesting. It's stored as opposed to active. Now, this one, very common code, which we'll talk about in a minute. But this this code and this code, you can basically ignore okay. if you want to. Um, yeah. This code is a, is a very cheap sensor that lives in the oil cooler unit that they're notorious. They go bad all the time. And PO60E, it, it sounds scary with the engine oil pressure control circuit, circuit stuck on. But this engine has a two-speed oil pump, mm -hmm. and either speed supplies more than enough oil pressure for it to run. Sure. So you could ignore that, too. And the transmission, but this is, is curious. I'd be interested to know if it was actually high, which I'll find out. I'll, I'll drive it around and monitor the temperature. Yes, sir. This one was stuck in the mud. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. The one in uh, Ecuador when the yeah. oil pan broke. <laughs> I wonder if there's any other things that are like ma normal maintenance of high there's mileage that you could spark do. Spark plugs. Again, oh. these things, spark plugs every 100,000 miles, hmm. transmission every 60, 60 to 100,000, transmission fluid and filter. Mm -hmm. Other than that, there is no maintenance. I see no cause for alarm, as I guess. Everything actually looks in pretty good shape. Looks exactly what it should look like. Um, there have been mice living in here at one point. But what? For real? Yeah, check it out. So there's this foam pad that lives between the... That always looked kind of, yeah. That was that was a mouse that was in there just chewing on that? Chewing on it, yeah. What? I wonder where that was. I'm sure it's delicious. I mean, how, how do we know? <laughs> just put it in that slot right there for now. Okay. And I'll, yep, I'll gather up my crap and we'll go to the airport. Thank you so much. Oh my God, we met Kip. Awesome guy. He's going to take great care of the van. Um, told him all the things going on with this beast. But how freaking sweet that Kip from Pro Masters Only offered to give me a ride to the airport. So just gotta make sure I got everything I need out of this van. I got my sunnies right here. Dang, there goes the man, the myth, the legend, driving an electric vehicle. And he dropped me right at the airport so I can make my flight. Epic, you guys. Thanks for coming with me. All the way to pick up the van from Houston here to Pro Masters Only right near Cleveland Airport. <laughs> Hi, Danny. Twist. I made it to the game. Get <laughs> <laughs> 